Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to show you how to set up the TrovoBot 2.0 for your stream and make your stream look a little bit better and have some functionality with commands. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is go and install Node.js. You can just go to nodejs.org and if you're on Windows, use the 12.18.3 LTS at the time of this video and it's pretty much a click through installation already have it installed so i'm not going to mess with that but make sure you have that installed and once you fully install that make sure that you restart your computer so we're going to go over to the trovabot github page and i'm going to have this linked below so you guys can get the most up-to-date version of trovabot so the version that we're using is 2.0.1 as you can see here from this release patch you're going to click on code and download the zip and we're going to download it to my desktop and then we're going to uh, go ahead and close under this page we're not going to need that anymore and you basically want to right click and then drag and then you can just hit extract here and that's if you're using winrar if not then you can just normally extract so click on winrar extract to desktop or if you're using 7-zip kind of the same thing you're going to need something to get this out of the zip folder so once you have it unzipped you can delete that and here's our trovobot master folder that we want to use so the very first thing that you want to do is go up here to the top and don't click on the trovobot master click over in kind of the white area where it's blank and it will actually highlight all of this so you want to copy this you can do so by holding down Control c or you can right click it hit copy and then we're going to go down here to the start menu and right click it and then we're going to click on windows powershell admin and once you have done that we're going to type in cd so that's charlie delta put a space and then paste in this folder directory that we copied from here and hit enter and as you can see, this is going to change from C Windows System 32 to C Users Jordan Desktop Trovobot Master, which is where my Trovobot folder is located. And this is where you need the Node.js installed, so make sure you do it prior. And we're going to type in npm install. And that is going to go ahead and install all the dependents for your Trovobot Master. So it's going to install just a couple of things and this normally takes less than a minute so we're going to kind of let it do its thing okay there we go so it has went ahead and run the npm install you can close out of this windows powershell and now we're ready to set it up for your channel so what you're going to want to do is go over to trovo if you haven't already create a new account with a different email that's going to serve as your bot account so for instance i name mine zybot xibot and once you create your bot you want to go down to settings and this is where you can configure your bot to your page so you're going to fill in the email for the bot you just made the password the name of the bot so i'm going to fill this in on camera mine's zybot and then page is going to be the link to your trovo so i'm going to copy this if you don't know your trovo page link um, it's going to be all of this and then after this forward slash is this going to be your trovo name so if your trovo name was just mike it would just be just like that so where mine's exalent that's the format and make sure you keep it in between the parentheses and i'm going to fill out the email and the password off camera so bear with me one moment okay so i have filled in the settings folder and saved that so now you're basically ready to start your bot but you might want to look at the plugins first because not all of these are going to be disabled so just as a reference i'm going to show you how to run the bot the easiest way to run the bot is click over here where it's blank hold down the shift key and then right click and it's going to give you the option to open powershell window here go ahead and open that and it's already going to pull this directory for the trovobot master folder and all you have to type in to start the bot is node index and as you can see here showing trovobot settings loaded and eventually you should get a message saying that the bot is loaded and ready to mod okay so now we have exabot loaded in and you're gonna see this trovobot pop up 
and it's going to tell you what plugins are activated and you can deactivate those at any time it's also going to tell you what kind of processors are enabled so we was just doing this to make sure that your bot connects to your channel and how you can tell is go to your viewer list and as you can see here Zobot is now showing in the viewer list so we are good so if we want to create a command we're gonna have to turn on the create plugin unless you know how to code JavaScript then you can always do it that way but the easiest way that I've found I will show you let's go ahead and close the bot and let's go back into your Trovobot master folder and we're gonna go down to processors and then go to JSON commands and then make sure you click on right here it's going to be JSON commands and it's a JSON file click on that make sure the active is set to true and once it's set to true you can save that it should be by default click on the plugins folder go to the create folder and click on the create JSON file and set this to true and this will turn on the create command and if you view the readme, it's going to show you how to use the command. So this is a command that creates a custom response command for Trovo chat. And the way that you trigger this is exclamation point create the command name and then the command response. And here's an example, create test. And then this is what it will respond with. So this is definitely the easiest way to create commands without having to code in JavaScript. So make sure you have both of those enabled. And then if we restart the bot, so again, hold down shift, right click and open PowerShell window here. You're gonna do node index and it will load through everything. And now you're gonna see JSON commands create plugin has been activated and create is showing active. And bot is loaded, ready to mod. Check the viewer list, so it is. So let's create a command. So if you wanted to Create a YouTube command so you can do YT or YouTube and then boom link your YouTube channel so I already have the button here I'm gonna copy the link address and there you go command YT has been added then you do exclamation point YT and it will return you with your YouTube channel link and you can make as many commands as you would like and anyone can trigger them by using exclamation point YT or for example if you wanted to do exclamation point create IGN and then for instance my COD mobile username then same thing your users would do exclamation point IGN and there you go and you can customize those to your locking there's also a edit and delete command so if you go to processors JSON commands plugins and let's do edit if you view the readme it's going to show you how to edit that command so if you have a command that you want to edit or delete, you can go in here and see how to use that. So if we wanted to actually load a plugin um, while the bot is already on, you can also do that. So you don't have to close your bot every single time. Let's go to plugins and we're going to go to plugins over here. And you can see that the bot command is disabled. So if you want a list of the commands, you can do a question mark. And for instance, you have all of these commands. So to activate said plugin, all you'll have to do is type in the word activate. And then plugin, if I can type, and then the name of the plugin. So we're gonna do bot. So bot information, plugin activated. Activated plugin and updated setting file for plugin. So now if we do exclamation point bot, as you can see here, it returns with the bot command enabled. So one thing I want to note, if you want alerts in your chat, go to the alerts folder. And you can also customize alerts for spells. So if you want to thank people for um, leaving a spell, you can do it that way. You can also connect this into OBS, but that'll probably be a separate video just because of how lengthy that would be. So edit your alerts and what they're going to say in chat. You're going to open this and you want to change test to false. And then we're going to save So make sure it's active. So set active to true. 
say you want it to alert someone when they follow you're gonna keep that to true and in the text chat this is what it's gonna say so it's gonna say thank you user for the follow and you can edit this message to say whatever you want when someone follows same thing for sub spell and join pretty self-explanatory and then you can edit those to your heart's desire and then scene is for connecting to OBS. If you guys want me to make a video, I can do that as well so that you can have animated alerts. So I'm going to show you guys how mine are set up. So let's open up OBS and I do have an alert section. So I have one for follow, which you're not going to be able to hear it, but it'll bring up new follower and it's not doing text because this is a new bot and I also have one for sub. So if you guys want me to show you how to do that when someone follows the stream or subs just let me know i might do a video on that but this is strictly setting it for chat we're gonna enable that save it and then what i like to do is just close out the bot personally this is what i like to do it's just easier to kind of keep track of give it just a couple of seconds before you try to log back into it hit shift right click open powershell window and node index And then if we give it a second, it'll say that the bot is loaded and ready to mod. So let me clear this. And as you can see, the bot's there. So I'll have it turned on when I give myself a spell. Then it should basically return a thank you. Let me just send myself a stay safe. And as you can see there, it says thank you, Zylent, for the spells. And then you can edit that however you want. So that's basically the gist of how to run this plugin. There's also some other things that you can do with it. That's pretty much the basics. Hopefully this helps you get started. If you guys want some help on connecting this to OBS, let me know. I might make a video. If you have any questions, leave them below. I'll try to answer them as much as possible, but most likely I'm going to direct you over to the um, streamers workshop, Trevobot.js uh, Discord help server. And there you can report any kind of bugs you come into or any kind of issues and they might be able to help you a little bit more. I'm not really too familiar with JavaScript, so I'm not that much help, but hopefully this should help you guys get it set up and get a bot in your stream. So if this helped, be sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe. And if you haven't already, go ahead and follow me on Trovo and all the links for this tutorial will be in the description. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.